a to the 4 minus b to the 4 equal to 24, 65, a, b are integers. Because the power is only 4, we can say without loss of generality, we consider that a and b are greater than or equal to 0. Because we consider, for example, if a was 2, we consider negative positive 2 at the end. Now, let's factorize. One important thing for factorizing is at first, at first, a to the 4. When we have x by power rule, when we have x to the mn, we can say it is x to the m to the n. So here it is a to the 4. I can say it is a squared squared minus b squared squared equal to 24, 65. Now we want to use a famous identity at x squared minus y squared equal to x minus y. Or well, let's write x plus y times x minus y. Now, if you apply it here, it will be a squared plus b squared times a squared minus b squared equal to 24, 65. Next step, we use the identity again here, this identity here. If we apply that, it will be a squared, the first one we write it so, Next one, it will be a plus b times a minus b equal to 24, 65. Okay. Now, let's erase all these things. We factorize the left-hand side. So for finding solution, it's important to also factorize the right-hand side. Right-hand side, is it multiple of 3? No. Is it multiple of 5? Yes. It will be 5 times 4, 20, 46, 9, 45, 15, 3. And 493 is not multiple of 3, not multiple of 7, uh, multiple of 11, no, multiple of 13, it will be 3 times 13, 39, 103, no, it's not multiple of 13, let's check 17, is it multiple of 17, 2 times 17, 34? 6, 15, 1, 5, 3. Is it multiple of 17 or not? 17 times 9. Okay. So it is 5 times. Let's check. Now 9. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. It is 4 times this. Let me explain for you. 4, 9, 3. At the end, it will be this. So it will be 17 times. You multiply, it will be 234, then 34 will be 153, it will be 29. Now, because we said a, b are greater than or equal to 0, so this one is, we don't, these parts are not 0, because right hand side is not 0. So it has to be positive, positive, so because the product of them is positive, it is also positive. And because we can say if a and b are integers, b is non-negative integer, this one is greater than or equal to this. Now also, because they are non-negative integer, this one is greater than or equal to this. So, 5, 17, 29 are prime numbers, and if none of them equal to 1, it has to be 5, it has to be 17, it has to be 29. One case is this. If one of them equal to 1, and the 1 should be here. If, for example, both of them equal to 1, it is 1. It is 1. Next one is 24, 65. But it's not possible because if these two things be 1, we can't say this. If it is 1, for example, the next one, we should consider different cases. 5, 17, 29. So let's, let's do something. And at first, let's calculate this part. We want to find all a, b, c. If you consider 5, 17, a plus b, a minus b, if you add them to a, it will be 22. a is 11. If you subtract 2b equal to 12, b equal to 6. And sorry, I should write 11, write 11 here. And we will see it doesn't work. Because now let's check 11 plus 6, 15 minus this. Their square is not 29, so the first one is not good. Let's erase the first case. Or let's add.
Okay. So the first case was bad. Now let's erase this part. We proved that this case is bad. If both of them be one, then a two a equal to two a equal to one b equal to zero. Again, a squared plus b squared cannot be this. Let's erase this part. Now we consider the case that a minus b be one. So let's rewrite it in next page. A squared plus b squared times a plus b times a minus b equal to twenty four sixty five which is 5 times 17 times 29. Now, we consider a minus b is 1, and we should consider all other cases. So it is 1, it is 17 times 29. It is 1, it is 17, it is 5 times 29. It is 1, it is 29, it is 5 times uh, 17. Okay. Let's check only these three cases because we said that this should be less than or equal to this this should be less why it is less than or equal to this because they are positive. we said non-negative integers a square is greater than equal a always because one square is greater than equal one two square greater than equal two after two two and after the numbers after that are strictly greater than that so let's check this one a two a will be some of them six a will be three Sub if you subtract 2b equal to 4b equal to 2, uh, it is not correct. So this case is also bad. Let's check the next case. And uh, 2a equal to 18, a equal to 9, 2b equal to 16, b equal to 8. And then a squared plus b squared. 5 times 29 is what? 5 times 9, 45. We have 4. 5 times 10, 145. Now. A squared plus b squared equal to 81 plus 64. Which will be 1, 4, 5, and it is one answer. A equal to 9, b equal to 8. So a, b. For this answer, we say 9, 8, negative 9, negative 8, and negative 9, 8, and negative positive 9, negative 8. So we found four answers. Plus, plus, minus, 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 plus, plus. Minus. Let's check the last case. Last case, 2a equal to 30, a equal to 15, b equal to 24, 14. a squared plus b squared is bad because it is 85, but we, we know that 15 squared plus 14 squared is 225 plus 196, which is obviously greater than 85, so it is bad. So our only four answers are these four answers. If you had questions, send a message to my WhatsApp number, and please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell, and like the video. Thanks. Bye.